Welcome to the weekday report for Thursday, July 25th. I'm Joe Potente. Here's a brief look at the news. The Kenosha Unified School Board is considering blocking an automatic one-year renewal of Superintendent Michelle Hancock's contract. Hancock's agreement runs through 2015 with a one-year extension to 2016 that will kick in automatically unless the board takes action by the end of this year. Board Vice President Joanne Tauby has asked for the board to discuss and possibly act on the extension. This is expected to happen at a special meeting on August 13th. A Pleasant Prairie man reportedly is still in the hospital after he was shot by his girlfriend's ex-husband Tuesday night. 44-year-old Michael L. Derricott of Pleasant Prairie is recovering at Freighter Hospital in Wauwatosa after he was shot three times in the chest and stomach at his home, his sister Penny Derricott said this morning. She said he was not shot in the head, as initial reports from police indicated, and he suffered no brain damage. The shooter, 42-year-old Dean Knudsen of Salem, killed himself in a Racine Park shortly after the Tuesday night incident. Baker Street Restaurant and Pub in Kenosha is seeking damages associated with the 2010 salmonella outbreak that sickened 21 customers. The restaurant has filed suit against the Iowa-based farm that supplied the eggs, as well as the companies that distributed the products. A trial in Kenosha County Circuit Court is set for March. After three years at the helm, Brighton School District Administrator William White tendered his resignation at a special school board meeting Wednesday night. White recently accepted an offer to become principal of Williams Bay High School and Middle School. The board has set August 13th to name White's interim replacement, with the search for a permanent district administrator to come sometime in the coming months. Two men are awaiting charges related to a drug bust that ended at a Kenosha apartment Tuesday. 35-year-old Timothy Taylor of Kenosha and 21-year-old Deshaun Coleman of Beach Park, Illinois, were in court for a bond hearing Wednesday. Police found drugs valued at $10,000 or more in what a prosecutor called quite an arsenal of weapons after a months-long investigation in the 4,000 block of 28th Avenue. Snap-on honored the veterans among its employees and retirees Wednesday and handed over a $50,000 donation to the Honor Flight Network. The check was delivered at an Honor Flight picnic attended by 700 people at the company's Kenosha headquarters. Honor Flight Network is an eight-year-old program that provides veterans with all expenses paid trips to see the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. What's trending today? Is door-to-door -door mail delivery going the way of the dodo? Under a proposal in Congress, mail delivered to your door would be phased out by 2022, with so-called cluster box and curbside delivery taking the place of the door-to-door -door service that about one in three mail customers enjoy. Would you mind hiking to the curb or to the end of your street to pick up your mail if it means the Postal Service will save billions per year? Share your thoughts on our Facebook page. Up next are Brian Sharkey and Liz Snyder down at the lakefront with some Get Out Entertainment ideas. I'm Brian Sharkey. And I'm Liz Snyder. As you can see, we are standing here on the grounds of what will be Taste of Wisconsin, where all these tents and other booths are set up. That's right. We've got over 40 vendors coming to downtown Kenosha and 80 musicians live here on the lakefront this weekend. Admission is free, and the festival goes from Friday through Sunday, so you've got plenty of time to get down here. And starting next week, you can enjoy more food up at the State Fair in West Dallas. I hear there'll be cream puffs. Of course. <laughs> There's also tons and tons of music and tons of deep-fried foods on a stick. And if that's not enough to blow your summer diet, you can head to German Fest in Milwaukee. Think there's beer? Uh, some beer, some schnitzel, <laughs> and plenty of live music there as well. oom pa, -pa bands. <laughs> so that's the term. And over at St. Mary Catholic Festival, you could check out their seasonal fest this weekend as well. And if you want to go inside, Susical the Musical is at Bradford High School. That doesn't rhyme with anything. Sorry, what rhymes with Bradford? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and if you're up for a new movie, check out Wolverine on the big screen starting Friday. For all these stories and more, see Friday's Get Out Entertainment section. I'm Liz Snyder. I'm Brian Sharkey. Get, Get out, out and have, have some fun. fun. Thanks, Brian and Liz. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. Closing arguments began in the trial of Joseph Stortz, the man accused of setting fire to Horn Trever Feeds in 2011. Janine Anderson is following the case. And Rachel Schaff is checking out a newly released survey of Paddock Lake Village residents. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Joe Potente with the Weekday Report.